Alright, I know what you're thinking. Man, is this guy late to the party with these book nooks. But, everybody's got to start somewhere. And that somewhere starts right now with this miniature DIY dollhouse by Cutie Fun that I got very cheap off Amazon. And while I was trying to build this, I realised why it was so cheap. Because right off the bat, the base didn't fit together to fit everything else onto it. So I had to make my own base and I started with some foam board, 5mm and just basically cut uh, the floor and then the, uh, the walls to it. And then that's how the idea of a book nook came about because I couldn't use the clear plastic dome that uh, came with this uh, with this pack. So what I'm doing here, I'm just tearing the paper that uh, is on top of the foam board and then using some coffee stirrers, stolen, sorry, acquired from my favourite coffee shop um, and I'm just going to scald them to make them look like wooden floors and then trim them down to size and stick them onto the foam board. So how I did this was just uh, just by laying one of the uh, coffee stirrers on and then cutting another one up just to give it that sort of layering effect so it didn't look like it was just one long bit of uh, coffee stirrer. Once that was done, I just edged everything off with some more coffee sticks and then trimmed it all down to size. Next came the walls which I recut slightly taller because at this point I'd realised that I wanted it to be a book nook um, so I'm just trying to ga gauge everything and then came the tedious task of making brickwork which is just quite simply a uh, couple of millimetres difference just scoring it gently and then scoring it down um, hoping that once all that was done and then I hit it with the, the tin foil that once it's painted the texture will come out and uh, make it look more like uh, bricks. To add a little spice to the uh, boring uh, wall work that I'd done, I decided to just take some bricks out uh, just so it looked like it had been there for a, a fair few years and uh, the brickwork was starting to crumble in certain places. Nothing structurally uh, a problem, I might add. And how I did that was just simply push the foam in um, and then just give it just made that little groove then came the tedious part of making all these books um, this pack says it's for children my god I uh, have much respect for the kids that would make these because there was an awful lot of books that you had to cut out and then you had to cut out the piece of paper that you had to fold many times <laughs> And the glue that was supplied didn't work, so I had to rush out to the uh, store to get some uh, Prit stick, we call it Prit stick over here, and uh, glue everything together. That took a good hour or so. Then it was back to the painting of the walls. So I just hit it with some just normal grey um, undercoat, and then went back in and just painted some uh, bricks, uh, a clear colour, a red colour, and then I can tone all that down when I put the brown wash on it later on. Once the walls were dry, I stuck the uh, first bit of wall onto the uh, new base, and then it was onto the second bit, and I just hot glued the um, wallpaper just to cover the window, and then the bookcase, the bookcase that didn't actually fit like a bookcase until I made some alterations but I got there eventually and then just started gluing stuff onto the bookcase. Once I glued most of the books uh, to the bookcase it was then uh, brown acrylic with some water and then I dropped a little sneaky bit of uh, rinse aid into it just to help it uh, flow down the wall and then ah the light the light that caused so much pain because I kept rewiring it wrong and the instructions weren't helping uh, managed to put all the gubbins inside the flooring and uh, finally got it to work and while I was building this I was uh, watching uh, 
The Last of Us and then realised, hang on, this could be two dioramas in one here uh, so you'll see the, uh, the outcome after the uh, montage so if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe to the channel and uh, until next time, keep scratching that build everybody